performer is, I mean, she's always good, but she's about to portray one of the creepiest fucking movies I've ever seen. Like, and I, I don't really scare easily, obviously. Um, but when you combine young children, um, weird ass suicidal horses, and the atrocity that was VHS, you get a pretty scary result. This woman is the producer of Lyrics Revealed. You can catch her at the Great Southern Burlesque Exposure in December. And she is, well, normally she's your mocha dream. But I think tonight she is your mocha nightmare. Are we ready? Are we ready? No, we're not ready. So, this one time, this, shut the fuck up. So this one time, I went to get a puppy from a neighbor, okay? This story's going somewhere, you just hold on. I really wanted a puppy, and she's this little lady that lived around the corner from me. Her name was Ophelia. In Churchill, she's like 90 years old. So I go to get the puppy from her, and she's like, no, 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 they're not ready yet. Come back in a week, $10. I'm like, $10? All right. So I go back a week later, and I knock on the door. And I'm like, she comes. She comes to the door. All four hairs on her head are in one sponge roller. <laughs> she's like, hello? And I was like, hey, Miss Ophelia. It's me, government name. Do you remember me? I'm going to get a, a puppy from you for $10. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it's not really good day around my husband's down. Hey, hey, you could come back. I was like, uh, okay, but that's the day you told me, and I just want to get the puppy. And she's like, oh, yeah, I don't, I, I, got, I just been calling up to my husband on that. I don't know, I think might be dead. I don't know. I just, no, I was like, oh, okay, I'll come back. Let me go. And I was like, oh, did, what did you say? She's like, I, I've been calling up to my husband all night. I think he might be dead. <laughs> Did you call 911? No. Would you like for me to do that for you? Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, this was, it was like 102 degrees and it's, it's Richmond hot, you know, it's just, there's no escaping it. So I'm standing on the front porch, sweating, basket, for the puppy. Call 911. Uh, yeah, I'm at this woman's house. I'm here to get a puppy. And apparently her husband might be dead. Uh, okay, can you get to him? Hold on. Miss Ophelia, where is he? Oh, he's upstairs in the bathroom. Do you think I could see him? Oh, yeah, 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 come on up here and take a look. So she moves out of the way. I step through the gates of hell, because it is 800 degrees inside this woman's house. And I go over to the stairs. We have to go up the stairs, and every step is like descending into another circle. It's just hotter and hotter and hotter. I get up to the top of the stairs. This is a true story, I'm not making this up. I get up to the top of the stairs. The bathroom door is open, and I see two very thin legs. So like, I had in my head that like maybe the door was locked, you know, and she couldn't get to him. No, no, no. She has been looking at this man for like 18 hours, and he is dead. Like, oh yeah. So, so dead. So I go, yeah, so like, like there's gradients and he is so dead. He's not like dead, he is so dead. So I go up there and I, I'm like, I was very young, I was like 19 and I'm standing there and I'm seeing, this is like my first dead guy. He's like, um, okay, I'm here. I see him. Uh, okay, ma'am, is he warm? Uh, he is, but you need to understand it is really hot in here. Okay, okay, is he breathing? And I'm just like, I'm in robot mode right now, right? And I'm like, uh... No, no, not breathing. 
Okay, ma'am, um, can you lay him down flat? Now, let me just paint a picture for you. This man is on the toilet. His underwear are like right here, so I did not have to see 90-year-old dead man dick, thank God. But he's down here, and he's like, like on the toilet, like, 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 like rigor mortis dead. Like, oh yeah, like so dead. So you lay him down flat. So I'm, I'm sitting here, and I'm like, I'm trying to process what she's saying. Can I lay him down flat? Um, in the terms of physics, maybe, because uh, I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna stay bent. Uh, I could lift him. Um, why does she want me to do this? This is weird. And then I was like, oh, I haven't told her yet. Like, ma'am, I'm pretty sure this guy is dead. And she was like, okay, you don't have to do anything else. Like, just tell her, just tell her that the paramedics are coming. And I was like, okay. Now, mind you, she clearly has been talking to this man for 18 hours. So she's just standing there, I'm like, okay, Miss Sophia, the, the paramedics are coming, it's okay. So, we go downstairs, and we're waiting, and the paramedics get there, and they like, charge in, and they're rushing, and they're running up the stairs, and they don't even, like, look at this man's face, and be like, whoop, never mind, bye. <laughs> don't even go all the way up. Now, clearly, you may have deduced this, I've not let on to this yet, but in Churchill, there are a lot of non-white people. And as, as this woman's family is now arriving, how do I explain myself? It's like, they're very upset, rightfully so. And here I am, like, this little white girl with a basket. It's like, I just came here to get the dog. I have a urinary tract infection. I'd really like to leave now. It was awful. But anyway, that's how I got the name Ophelia. So, she was adorable, but all the puppies died. It's Halloween, that's what you get, ghost puppies. Anyway, all right, are we ready now? All right, now we're ready. Now, now that you're sufficiently depressed, it's time. It's time for your mocha nightmare.